Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studio. Welcome to the second tutorial of the UI and Game Art for Beginners series. In this tutorial, we will be learning how to make a flat 2D background in Adobe Illustrator. Let's start by creating a document. And we want this to be 1920 by 1080, one artboard, no bleed. Select the rectangle tool. You can hit the M key to get to it. And click once on the pasteboard. Make a square that is 110 pixels in width and height. Make sure you have the selection tool, which is V on your keyboard. Hold down your Alt and your Shift key and drag a duplicate of the square below the original square. And then using Control D, make three more copies of the original square. Now select all five squares and remove the border. We want to choose each square individually and fill them with different colors. Choose swatch one, double click on the fill, and change this color to 464D4D. D. Choose the second swatch. We want to change this to C4D8D9. Third swatch. 7F8C8D, fourth swatch, 8A999A, and the fifth swatch, we're going to change that to 687373. Now go ahead and open up your layers panel and change layer one to swatches. Now we're going to make the background. Go ahead and make a new layer above your swatches. And rename this background. Choose your rectangle tool and draw out a rectangle the same size as the artboard. Select your eyedropper. You can just hit I on your keyboard and click on the top swatch to fill the background with that color. Let's go ahead and lock the background layer. Make a new layer above this and call this one Moon. Choose the ellipse tool. You can either hit L on your keyboard or you can find it under the rectangle tool. Click once on the artboard. And we want to make an ellipse that is 1200 pixels in height and width. Make sure it's centered on your artboard. Only about 75% of the ellipse should be overlapping the background. Go ahead and select the eyedropper, which is I on your keyboard, and click on the second swatch to fill in the moon. Make sure that your ellipse is selected, and then make a copy. Go to Edit, Copy, and then we want to paste this in back of the original. So go to Edit, Paste in Back. Resize your ellipse to 1300 pixels in height and width. And change its opacity to 50%. Now 
Now make sure that this second ellipse is selected. And again, we want to make a copy. Go to Edit, Copy, and then Paste and Back. Edit, Paste and Back. And we want to change this to 1400 pixels in height and width. And we're going to change the opacity to 30%. Lock your moon layer, make a new layer above this, and let's name it stars. Choose your star tool, which is under the ellipse tool. Click once on the artboard. We want radius 1 to be 15 pixels, radius 2 to be 30 pixels, and the points to be 5. Then let's fill the star with a light yellow color. I'm using DDDA7A. Go ahead and make multiple copies of the star by using your left mouse button while, while holding the Alt key and dragging. Once you have all of your stars, go ahead and lock that layer and make a new layer above it and rename it Clouds. Choose the Ellipse tool, which again is L on your keyboard, and click once on the artboard. Make an ellipse that is 150 pixels in width and height. And then we want to make other ellipses and add them to this original shape to make the form of a cloud. And go ahead and select all of the ellipses. Just hold down your shift key. Once you have all of them selected, open up your Pathfinder tool. And we want to choose Unite, which is this very first icon under the Shape Modes. And then go ahead and place them around the scene, resizing them, moving them, rotating them, just like you did with the stars. And then once you have all of those placed around the background like you want, go ahead and choose all of them. Then hit I on the keyboard for your eyedropper, and then click on the second swatch. Go back into your layers panel, lock your clouds layer, make a new layer above it, and rename it mountains. Choose your star tool and begin drawing out a star. With your left mouse button still held down, use the down arrow and hit it twice so you only have three sides to your star. Hold your shift key down and continue to draw out the triangle. Use the eyedropper tool, which is I on your keyboard, and fill this triangle in with the fourth swatch. And then move the triangle down to the bottom of the artboard. Then what we want to do is make duplicates of this mountain and resize them to fill up the entire width of the artboard.
Open up your layers panel and make a new layer above the mountains layer and rename it mountains front. Now what we want to do is put more mountains in front of these original mountains. Then hit I for your eyedropper and we want to choose the third color swatch to fill these mountains in. Okay, now go ahead and lock your mountains and mountains front layer. Make a new layer and name it trees. Choose your star tool and draw out a triangle. Make sure you hold your shift key so it will sit flat. And we want to change this to a width of 65 and a height of 250 pixels. And then go ahead and move the triangle down to the bottom of the artboard in front of your mountains. Hit I to get your eyedropper tool and fill in the triangle with your fifth color swatch. Go ahead and make a copy of this triangle. Control C and then Control F to paste it in front. Move it over so you can see it a little bit better. And we want to rotate this and this is going to be our branch and then we need to resize it and attach it to our trunk and then go ahead and continue to make copies of the triangle resizing and rotating them as you want in order to make a tree Okay, then once you have it looking like you want, go ahead and select all of the branches and the trunk. And we want to go ahead and make them into a group. So go to Object, Group. Now go ahead and make multiple copies and you can rotate them, transform them, resize them. We just want to have a few across the front of our mountains. Okay, now we just have one more thing to do. We need to create a mask so everything will be within the borders of this 1920 by 1080 background. So go ahead and make a new layer above the trees and just call it final. Choose your rectangle tool, which is M on the keyboard, and make a rectangle the same size as the artboard. Unlock all of your layers. Select the rectangle layer and all of the other layers except for the swatches. and then go to Object, Clipping Mask, Make. And then there is your final 2D flat background. I hope you found this useful. Have a good day.